coming to you live in 3D. Well, not actually 3D, and you won't need glasses like these for today's tutorial. But in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the New Blue FX Pro Titler, which is a new titler from New Blue, which you can get at newbluefx.com if you don't already have it. Now this titler works perfectly well in 2D, but it's got some really cool features in 3D that we're going to check out right now. The 3D we're speaking of when we're talking about the new blue titler pro is actually movement in uh, in three dimensions in the Z plane as well as extrusions on the titles. Let me show you what that is. So to start the titler pro in Vegas, it's a piece of generated media. So open generated media and one of your choices will be new blue titler pro for windows once you have installed it and just to, to recap so double click on titler pro that brings up our interface and the cool thing about this is it's a plugin that runs inside of vegas the entire time you're working with titles you don't need to be reviewing the vegas timeline or the vegas preview window you can do all of your preview right inside of the plugin while it runs inside of vegas it's pretty cool we're not going to go through a thorough overview of the titler. We're just going to hit some of the high points as it relates to the 3D extrusions, which, by the way, does not appear in any of the other titlers that come standard with Vegas. Again, this is kind of unique with the new blue package. Your first piece of text that pops up is just a basic enter text. And if you want to change that, you double click on it. We'll enter what we want. Our curved arrows up top here will let us place it on a curve. And the little world icon here is what allows us to enter a Z depth. Click on the world, you notice the large circle that gets placed around the entire title. And then from within the title, if you just click and drag, it almost becomes a a joystick operation. Now, if you notice, our title is still very flat. We're still in everything's in two dimensions, with the exception of this little bit of a curve. Now, you can do this with the standard Vegas tools, but you, you have to get the 3D uh, track motion involved at a track level. The nice thing about this is, with the new blue title or pro, is it's all contained in the title event. Let's add a couple of things to our title here. Take this off, we'll select all of the text. Now by selecting the text, you also, this also gives you a bit of a background. So if you add some of the two-dimensional styles, such as an outline or a shadow, you can see what they look like. So we'll click on Style, click on 2D, Shadow, that pops up. Outline. We can choose the thickness. We can change the color. I don't normally use outlines. We'll get rid of that. We'll hit our Z again. And so now you have a little bit of a, a little bit of a depth there. Now this is a shadow, it's not actually an extrusion. Let's uh, work let's work on that. Go back to our 3D face. And you notice one of our options here is extrusion. By clicking and dragging the extrusion, you can increase and decrease the amount of uh, extruded text you have on your title and it really becomes apparent if you give it just a little bit of a little bit of a bump one way or another in the so that you're looking at it from a side view from a little bit of an underneath view everything we've worked with up to this point has been just on a single text event and uh, just kind of building it from the ground up. One of the things I really like about this title is it already comes with a library of presets of effects and styles that you can use to get you started. This reminds me a lot of the old Title Deco program that we used with the original Pinnacle Studio product in the early 2000s. So we click on Library and I'm going to jump right into Styles and these are styles that are included with the product. As you can see there's quite a lot of them. And regardless of how you have your title set up, you can hover over any of these styles. It will apply, in many cases, color, typeface, um, 2D effects, 3D effects, extrusions, all built into a style. And if you decide on one that you want, 
I'm going to go right now with Caesar. You can just click and drag that over. And now your title is all set with that style. Another feature that New Blue has included are templates. And templates go one step further than styles. They're not just a look, but they're a complete title event with, in many cases, motion, transition, effects, all built into your title event, all preset for you from New Blue. In fact, I'm going to jump to one that is almost ubiquitous. You see it all the time, and it's going to get a lot of use from a lot of people. And it's called Type On. And again, it doesn't matter how we set up our text originally. All it cares about at this point is just the letters and the number of lines, you know, what it looks like. We have Big Company Quarterly Report. And you can preview all of these just by placing your mouse over the template in the list here. And you see what we have is just a simple type on from left to right. You can just imagine adding some old IBM Selectric typewriter sounds to that. Boom, instant, uh, instant title for your production. Let's go through a couple more of these quickly. Swoop in. As always, not every preset, not every style, not every template is going to be effective for you. But if you take some time to play with it, I bet you'll find something you like. These templates and these styles are a great way to audition what's possible with this title or plugin. Once you apply the template, you can look at the attributes, you can look at the style, the effects, the transitions, and all the different settings that are on the object to see how it was constructed. You'll notice that every time I move from one template or one style to another, that it reverts back to the, what we originally left this at. And that's okay. That's just the way Tyler Pro works. This is another one I like. This is called Battle Jitters. I don't like it for a company quarterly report, but we have some streaming music productions that we're using this on. So there you have it. That's a sampling of the new Blue Titler Pro plugins 3D capabilities, which includes really uh, their extrusion capabilities as well as moving in the Z plane, all within the confines of the title event itself without having to revert to track motion or any other aspect of Vegas. You can go a lot further with this titler than what you might think. Um, you can create complete title events with backgrounds, animation, movements, not just text on your video. I encourage you to visit the new Blue website and have a look at some of their video training done by Ian Stark and some others. And they'll take you through some of the advanced capabilities of this titler. It's very powerful. It's included with Vegas 11. And out of all the titlers that, uh, that you can use in Vegas now, this is the one I recommend you look at. It's very powerful. Hey, folks, I really hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of tips and tricks and the new features in Vegas Pro 11. We've really enjoyed putting it together for you. And we've got some more stuff coming up for you in the next few weeks. I'm David McKnight, and we will see you in Vegas.